maps and that was a few too many so I uh, skipped over it in like 5 seconds <laughs> That's such a... <laughs> like why, why do you even bother say that? Of course they're gonna go when they're ready Look, some people will wait for you to give them permission to start So it's it's important to tell them that they can just start we call those people beta cucks. All right, here we are. Game one of this best of three between Foden and Riot. We are here on Serenity Desert Small. A 5x5 five five with a lot of 38 mass rocks on it. Like no, that's lot. the Tinklomps version with a lot. Yeah. This one has a low mount. For a 5x5 five five map, it has a lot. Yeah, but that's not saying a lot, is it? Well, I mean, compared to Ditch, it doesn't have any reclaim at all, but... What what do you want from me, Farms? Oh, well, um, I know a certain... Uh, uh, well, I don't know any of the actual names. <laughs> yes. Can't say anything. You know, the 5 kilometer map, it's a big uh, lake in the middle. That's based, that has like a 5, a 10, and a 20 kilometer version. There are some FFA things. It, it wasn't ladder for a tiny bit when you spawn in the water. Oh, hard and FFA. And there were some very funny UD games with it. <laughs> Where uh, he didn't reach at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one. That one has more reclaim than this one. I was played. <laughs> he got me. Of course Look, I got you. It takes all my willpower not to put hard FFA in tournaments. I, ho I hope you appreciate that. You sound as sad boy as Patrick was when people didn't like him putting uh, a certain uh, map in ladder that had like teleport locations where you could teleport <laughs> across the map. Uh... Well, I guess it's more accurate to call them like warp zones, I guess. Look, hard FFA is funny in small doses. Really? <laughs> I mean, I didn't see any games on it, but it's the concept is not uninteresting, though. Well, you end up with this incredibly silly flowchart of exactly what you have to do in response to all of your opponent's possible opening options. No, no, I mean, that's, it's not that, like, sand and stone. It's just, like, somewhere in the middle of... Uh, I don't know exactly what it was. It was, like, 10 kilometers. But, by the way, nice raid from Odin here. Yeah, this is good nice damage. Time. Like, the Hydra's nice gonna Hydra. get denied. Is you still in base building... Buildings and another raid at the top is actually gonna uh, kill two more engineers. Oh, this is brutal. Foden just gonna kill all three expanding engineers. Um, this lab was a bit dangerously micro because the ASU might have been walking north a bit faster and the lab kind of idled on the ramp for a bit. But is he staying there to kill the mechs? I don't think that's worth it at all. I mean, I don't hate it. Like, the mech ring did its job. You might as well see what he's comes out this way. He's, yeah, I was about <laughs> to say. He's gonna get one shot at if he went for the mechs, he should have at least stayed at the top side. Now he doesn't scout the bomber easily. So, also, I think the engineer on 8 HP on the bottom reclaimed the other lap. Uh, so, it, the thing is, it's more, if it, more like make, killing that mech. Like, it can easily be rebuilt. He has build power. But, um,. You'd rather want to save the lab and put it somewhere away, just so your opponent is still scared of it. There's no air factory for Odin, but he's gonna finish both hydros at the exact same time. He is not only 4 p gen, so he does need a hydro. Riot is actually power stalling pretty badly, because both his hydros got delayed, but he's about to finish one. Alright, Odin uh, is rushing out the AA, and this micro is trying to do something. It's Leon Bomber though, so you have to be extremely careful. It's gonna die, I think. Uh, although... Yeah, it's gonna die. Ooh, that was not the best bomber I've seen. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Like, Riot did not get the corresponding damage he needed to compensate for what Foden did to him earlier. I feel like Odin overbuilt engineers, but then again, he has one more than right. They both have like 10 engineers, but you still only have like how many maxes? Eight core maxes? You have some reclaim. Oh, no, you have reclaim, I guess. Yeah, there's all this reclaim you need to go get, and you need a lot of engineers to split up and grab yeah, it. Yeah, and there's quite some scaling on the. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, oh his wow. high second hydro got denied by a single tank. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> and he was still power stalling. Yeah, you needed the power from this one Hydro, and it got denied I mean, a second time. I mean, unironically, his situation was very bad. Wouldn't say it's critical, but it is very bad. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I on a five kilometer map, when this would happen to me, I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, people, people in chat are already calling the GG, <laughs> and they're on delay. So, uh so Foden takes game one. And goes on to play map jet. Was it really a good game, though? For those mech marines, it was a great game. That's true. Those mech marines had the best time of their lives. <laughs> you know what? Odin should have been the one to say GG. <laughs> and they wait for his opponent to leave. <laughs> and the bomber failed for absolute maximum BM. <laughs> oh, Foden's too honorable for that. Yeah, he, he needs some of those uh, Death Squad uh, vibes. Well, at least we got 